I'm Erin Moriarty. There's a reason why our show is called 48 Hours Mystery. Most of the cases we cover do not have easy solutions or easy answers. But the show this week may be an exception to that. At the end of this special two-hour program, you will know exactly what happened to Carrie Baker, the Texas preacher's wife. Now, some of you have seen the earlier show we've done on this, but if you're not familiar with the case, Carrie Baker was just 31 when she was found dead in her Waco, Texas home in the early morning hours of April 8, 2006. When her husband, the preacher, Matt Baker, showed investigators a nearly empty bottle of Unison, which is an over-the-counter sleeping medication, and what appeared to be a suicide note, the death was ruled a suicide, and that would have been the end of it if not for Carrie Baker's very determined family and a tenacious band of investigators. This was a very difficult case for a reporter to cover because when we first started, the facts all seemed to point one way. But then after two arrests, drop charges, and then a trial earlier this year, there was a very different result than what we expected. You were about to meet some of the most courageous, wonderful people you could meet and also people whose callous actions will shock you. That's this week's 48 Hours Mystery. It's a two hour show. It begins at 9 p.m. Eastern with The Preacher's Wife and then at our regular time, 10 p.m. Eastern, the final chapter of the Baker case, Dirty Little Secrets.